Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining a problem on beam reactions. So, let's start. Now, here is the question given. It is said, for the above beam, find the reactions at the supports. So, we have to find the support reactions. Now, this beam is supported at A and B. At A, it is a hinged support. Whereas, at B, it is the roller support. And that too, the roller is inclined at an angle of 30 degree. So, what I am going to do here is, I will explain that how to get the reactions first at the roller. Now, suppose if the roller is resting on a horizontal plane. In that case, the roller can move in the horizontal direction. But it cannot go vertically down. It means there will be only vertical reaction which will be coming onto that roller. And that reaction I am denoting it as R. And Suppose this point is B where the roller is there. So the reaction would be only RB. So it means in case of roller support, the horizontal reaction that is HB is equal to 0 because it is moving in the horizontal direction. But vertically it cannot move. So it means there is reaction offered by the floor. But in this case as we see the roller is inclined. So what we need to do is we need to resolve the reaction. So how it would be resolved? Now reaction is always perpendicular to the surface. Here also this reaction RB is perpendicular to the horizontal surface. So in this case as well the reaction would be perpendicular to this inclined surface and here I am showing that perpendicular reaction. Now this reaction I am calling it as R suffix B. It is exactly perpendicular to this surface. Now here the angle is 90. Already the angle of the plane is 30 degree. So the angle made by the reaction with the horizontal will be 90 minus 30 that is 60 degree. So this angle is 60 degree. I am going to project it over here. So it means with the horizontal surface the angle of the reaction is 60 and when I drop a vertical line here now this angle of the vertical line it is 90 so when this is 90 here we have 60 the angle made by the reaction with the vertical over here it will be 30 degree and since this is 30 degree it means the angle is measured with respect to the vertical here I am going to get two reactions this I am writing it as the horizontal reaction which is H suffix B then there will be the vertical reaction which I am calling it as V suffix B, the vertical reaction at point B. So in the problem, RB would be replaced by these two reactions that is HB and VB. And next, once this has been done, onto the hinge support. Hinge also offers motion only in an angular direction. It means the beam can move down in an angular direction that is it can bend about point A. But the beam cannot move horizontally, so there will be horizontal reaction at the hinge and at the same time there will be the vertical reaction at the hinge called as VA. So now I am going to draw the FVD and basically we have to find all these reaction values. So let's start with the solution part. Into the solution part, I will draw the beam again replacing the supports with the reactions. Now, after reaching up till here, since RB is inclined at an angle of 30 degree with respect to vertical, so the vertical component, since the angle has been measured from the vertical component, so VB will be RB cos 30. So here we have RB cos 30 and HB will be equal to RB sin 30. Then HA and VA will remain as it is. So we have to find these reactions. Now I am going to use the equilibrium conditions that is considering the beam under equilibrium. 
सो द फर्स्ट इक्विलिब्रियम कंडीशन इज समेशन ऑफ एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज द सम ऑफ ऑल हॉरिजोंटल फोर्सेज आर इक्वल टू जीरो एंड हियर द कन्वेंशन इज राइट वर्ड फोर्सेज टू बी ट्रीटेड एज पॉजिटिव लेफ्ट वर्ड फोर्सेज नेगेटिव सो देर फॉर एच ए डायरेक्शन आई एम अज्यूमिंग इट टू बी टूवर्ड्स द राइट दैट इज द हॉरिजोंटल रिएक्शन एट द हिंद सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट ए सो इट इज प्लस then hb i am assuming it to be towards this side that is towards left so here minus hb at the same time we have 6 kN force inclined at 60 degree with respect to horizontal so its two components would be the horizontal and vertical horizontal component will be 6 cos because the angle is measured with respect to the horizontal so horizontal component will would be 6 cos 60 and the vertical component would be 6 sin 60 so here this is pointing towards left 6 cos 60 so it will be negative equal to 0 therefore ha minus hb will be equal to minus 6 cos 60 goes on the other side it gets added and the value comes out to be it is 3 kN and therefore i can also say that ha minus instead of hb i can put the value as rb sin 30 which is equal to 3 and this would be the equation number 1 for us now if we can get the value of rb even ha can be known so the next target would be to get the value of rb and this rb is basically we know it is the reaction at b so now after that using the first equilibrium condition then using the second condition summation of fy is equal to 0 upward force is positive and downward force is negative so therefore we have here va minus v uh, va plus vb both are upward minus 4 because it is acting downward minus 6 sin 60 3 into 1 so minus 3 into 1 because the udl is acting over 1 meter distance so 3 kN per meter is its intensity so it is 3 into 1 next and only these are the vertical forces so that is equal to 0 now therefore va plus vb will be all these values when they go on to the right hand side they get added and the answer comes out to be it is 12.20 kN now this i am keeping it as the second equation now using the third equilibrium condition which is summation of moment about point a is equal to 0 we can either take moment about a or b whichever case now here the convention is rightward or uh, anti clockwise moments are treated as positive and anti clockwise moments to be taken as negative so therefore when i am taking the moment about point a va and ha both are passing through the same point there are no perpendicular distances between point a and these two reactions so their moment would be zero then vb it is acting upwards so when i take the moment at point a it will be coming into the anti clockwise direction so negative that is minus vb into the total distance which is 4.5 minus vb into 4.5 then this 4 kN is acting down so when i take the moment at point a it will be in the clockwise direction so plus 4 into 2 then 6 sin 60 is also acting downward so when i take the moment at point a it is also in the clockwise direction the distance is 1 plus 1 plus 1.5 that is 3.5 next after this there is 3 kN per meter udl so it is 3 into 1 will give us the point load of the udl and that point load would be acting exactly at half that is half of 1 so next i am explaining the udl in this i can draw the diagram that is just adjacent to it 
here I am drawing the portion between A to C, A to C, UDL is 3 kN per meter, so into 1 will give me the conversion, that is UDL gets converted into point load, so 3 into 1, it means it is 3 kN, and that 3 kN force would be acting exactly at half of the distance. that is 0 0.5 meter from both the ends A and C since moment is to be taken at point A so when I take the moment it comes into the clockwise direction so that is positive so I am going to directly write it that it is plus 3 into 0 0.5 now all the forces have been completed as we can see over here so out of this the VB value and that is equated to 0 minus 4.5 VB goes on to the other side becomes positive so I have to add all these numbers I have to add them and divide by 4.5 that will give me the answer of VB and it comes out to be it is 6.15 kN so that's the first answer that is the first reaction which we have calculated now once VB is known VB was equal to RB cos 30 as explained so therefore I can also write down that after this VB is 6.15 so 6.15 divided by cos 30 it gives me the value of reaction at B RB which is 7.10 kN that's the second answer now when I put the value of RB in equation 1, I am going to get HA, so therefore, so putting the value of RB in equation 1, this minus term goes on to the other side, it gets added in this number which is 3, it comes out to be 6.55 kN and since the answer is positive, it means the reaction is pointing towards the right hand side as we have assumed, it is the assumption is correct, it means so that's the third answer and now once HA value is known I can also calculate HB HB is RB sin 30 as we can see here so therefore RB is 7.10 HB value comes out to be 3.55 kN and that is also positive it means the direction which has been assumed this direction is correct next now only VA is left and VA can be calculated by since we know the VB value we can put it simply in equation 2 to get the answer of VA so putting this VB value which is 6.15 so therefore it comes out to be 6.05 kN so it means the direction is assumed that is correct so once all the reactions have been calculated and this is the way in which the reactions should be calculated that is we have all the values starting with HA, VA then there is RB, HB and VB all the values have been calculated so with that the problem gets completed at the end, if you'll find my videos helpful, you'll can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.